Hey, what's up guys? It's Jack from All Time Low here, and we are gonna be digging in my crates today with Cool Accidents. So I don't have too many records. I got about 20 or 30 vinyls, but I'm gonna go through, pick out my top four, and explain to you why they're special records to me. So without further ado, here we go. So I'm going through my records, flipping through to see, you know, what pops out, and I come across what I'm gonna start with, and that's Amy Winehouse, Back to Black. And I think this is probably my favorite of my albums. It's definitely top three, top two. Um, I love it. I'm a big Amy Winehouse fan. This is my favorite record of hers. It has some of my favorite songs. What do we got? I got You Know I'm No Good, Back to Black, of course, Tears Dry on Their Own. You know, some of my favorite records and my favorite songs. And I hate to say it, but I got into Amy kind of a little late in the game. She had already passed away, and that's something that, you know, is, is a huge bummer. So I don't, I don't think I got to see her live, um, which sucks. I'm a big fan of her music. And um, it's, I think it's a perfect record for unwinding and lighting some candles and having a good think. And so... That's nice. And sometimes I like to play it on a first date. You know, if the date goes well enough when we go back to my place, I'll put this on. I know it's kind of, you know, a little bit of a downer, but I'll always judge someone on if they like Amy or not because I consider, I hold her so high on the totem pole. So I definitely judge people for that. I want everyone to love her as much as I do. But yeah, it's a great record and it sounds amazing on vinyl and Love you, Amy. Next on the list, um, I'm gonna go with the Mark, Tom, and Travis show. And it's hard to pick a Blink record because they're my favorite band. And they are the reason why I play music. And see the little, little Blink bunny? There he is. Um, so we've gotten the pleasure to tour with Blink. Actually, we played with them in Australia, I, I believe. Yeah, with, when Tom was in the band. And um, they've been a massive inspiration for our band and for the reason why I started playing music in the first place. So this is an important record for me. Um, it's the record that got me interested in even wanting to be on stage and perform. And their charismatic attitudes and punkery and craziness kind of inspired me to want you to know, follow in their footsteps in even the smallest way. And so this record um, makes me want to start a pit right here in my living room every time I listen to it. So this was a gift from my good friend, Phil Gornell, who does front of house sound for us and Five Seconds of Summer and Bring Me the Horizon and had a big part of working on production in our new album, Wake Up Sunshine. So it was a lovely housewarming gift from my good friend, Phil Gornell, and it was a wonderful gift. So we went to the desert last year, last July. We drove out to Palm Desert, Palm Springs, California to start recording our new record, Wake Up Sunshine. And uh, a couple of days into recording, once we had kind of been acclimated to the house and the whole neighborhood, I went to the shopping mall around the corner and it was a really fucking terrible mall. There's like three stores, just it sucked ass. But as I was walking around, I found this little record shop and I love to go to record shops on tour and see, you know, wait, wait, what I find, what I stumble upon. And as I was, you know, flipping through through the aisles, um, I stumbled upon Nirvana Unplugged in New York. And, you know, it's one of my favorite live performances of all time. I couldn't, I couldn't get to the register fast enough to check it out. And as soon as I got to the register, the owner or manager of the store was like, when did this come in? Like, he was like pissed that I found it. And he was pissed that, you know, someone was buying it because he wanted to have it. But the customer is always right and the customer goes first, so I got my hands on it and it's a really special record, you know. Um, super emotional, it's my favorite, one of my favorite uh, performances by Kurt. As you can see, I'm a big Kurt Cobain fan. Um, but yeah, I love it so much and it is quite the vibe, quite the whiskey and wine vibe at night while the sun has gone down. Last but not least, um, I chose Van Morrison Moondance. And I am a massive Van Morrison fan. Um, I went to see him live in LA a couple years ago. 
I took our manager, Nano, and we must have been the youngest people in the crowd by maybe like 30 or 40 years, but <laughs> uh, it was pretty sweet, and I love his voice, and his storytelling is incredible, and he just kind of always puts me in a good mood. You know, if I'm ever feeling down or kind of under the weather, I throw on this record and kind of sit back and, yeah, take it in. Love me some Van. Van the man. I got about 20 or 30 records, not too many like I said, but you know, I love, I love all these albums and starting my collection and I think it's going pretty well. We got a little Pet Sounds, Beach Boys action going on. The last thing I listened to, what else we got? And by the state, you know, probably my favorite Blink record. We got the Home Alone soundtrack for Christmas time or any time really. We got the Cure. Gotta get some stuff. A lot of Lana Del Rey. We got a lot of Lana Del Rey in here. What else? Ooh, I like this one. Yeah, so this was actually a gift from Mark Hoppus. He tweeted that he found this or put it on his Instagram, and I was like, "Hey man." What, uh, what are you gonna do with that? And he's like, well, I guess he gave it to me. I went to a Simple Creatures practice and he handed it to me, so that was kind of cool. Of course, we got the Nevermind. Smells Like Teen Spirit, the single. Creep, Radiohead. A lot of Frank Sinatra in here. A lot of Frank Sinatra. The Clash. James Bond, Greatest Hits, let's go, I found that. That will be Amy Whitehouse and so many good albums. The Killers, let's go. A lot of Beatles, a lot of Edda James. Steel Panther, my buddy's band, Edna's Goldfish. There's some, there's some good stuff in here. A lot of Lana Del Rey. All right, guys, thanks for uh, tuning in while we dig in my crates over here. Um, Appreciate you guys and stay safe, stay healthy. Um, once the quarantine is over, hopefully ATL will be down there playing some shows for you guys because that's the only place I want to be right now. Love you guys.